under the bed. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you could have guessed by that incredibly weird and strange introduction, it is the best Squad Buddha showdown you will ever see on YouTube. Because it's George Best. The pun life. The pun life is a tough life, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the life that I chose. But as this is the best Squad Buddha showdown, then come hit 10,000 likes. Genuinely one of my preferred favourite players on the game, George Best. You all know how Squad Buddha showdown works, so without further ado, let us get into Squad Builder Showdown on Georgie Best. Right, okie okay, dokie, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with Andros and with George Best, a lovely collection of people. Thanks, mate. Being in the same category as, as the best player on the game. It's pretty good, that, isn't it? I said that's not a bad place to be, if I'm honest. Shall I, get, shall I do my uh, like him? It's a little bit... It's a little you bit more raw. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, you actually do look a little bit like him. Whether or not that's like the whole Liverpool and Merseyside area thing, you know, because he was at Man United for a bit. I don't know. Right. So a bit more of a Rob this? haircut than my haircut, man. Not quite long enough, unfortunately. I think, I actually think, if you clip on his profile, I actually think he looks like a huge gorilla with, with wavy hair. Epsilon gorilla? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, right. Anyway, uh, we're getting carried away. Shall we just run into it, mate? Just run into it with 90 pace, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see what you did there. Right, okay. Uh, formation time. Ooh. Ooh! I ain't gonna guess. This one for you. What would you like, mate? Um, please, Andros, may I have the 4334? You may, sir. Yes, you may. What would you like? I'm gonna try something a little bit different. And I don't know if this is a good idea. With. A legend on the line. Sure. See, I was gonna try this and play him right mid, but that just sounds that just seems real silly. So instead, I'm gonna go for 4335 and play him like way up there. Okay, false nine. Yeah. What did you write down for me out of interest? 4321. Cool. I changed last minute and I got away with it, so that's snaked. Uh we both have a striker and a left wing then. Well actually you have a centre forward to this. Effectively the same thing. Mm-hmm. He is a legend, so he does link with everyone. Everyone. Whole game. Right, Andros, mate. Who would you like in your striker and left wing positions? Well, centre forward and left wing positions. I'm going pretty out there. In fact, I'll go as far as to say, if you get both of these, I'll give you my car. Okay. I know you are obsessed with my car. You love playing pranks on it. Ha. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't like it. That's the whole reason why I do those pranks, because I dislike it. I'm going up front. For, I seen this guy in my club, and I was like, he looks all right, but he's a bit slow. But I packed him. Then I seen his 89 physical, and then I seen the fact that he's six foot five, and his name is Juba, and he's in form. I packed him the other day. Okay. So he's a bit of a Russian man, and he's going yeah. up front. And then linking up to him, we're going to go for then Shatov. Okay. So we've got an absolutely mahusub dude up front who can nod the ball down to my super fast wingers. That's my plan anyway. Yeah, man. I like that. Did you get them? I didn't get either of them. I thought I not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what kind of... <laughs> uh, it's a shame we're not using Gary Lineker, isn't it, really? Why is that? Because you got shut off. And it's the life that I chose. Right. Who would I would you like? like I, I, I would like... I mean, I would like... Reason than somebody else, but I'm going to choose Daniel Sturridge and Theo Wolf. Mate, are you sure you don't want to go for Griezmann and Ronaldo? No. You sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you do. Like deep down, you know you want Griezmann and Ronaldo, don't you? <laughs> I don't. You man. do. You, come on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, I'm fine, man. You don't sure? Worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was settled for an English pairing. I was going to go Purple Hazard, but I thought that's stupid to put on the line in a scoreboard showdown. That is very true. Okay, right, forward line complete. Three midfielders each, I believe. Indeedy doody. Right, Reeve, I'm ready. Sure. Just gonna wing it. Got my guesses for you. For myself, do you want me to go first? Yeah, man, go first. I've got my held up. I'm gonna start off with the best sentiment on the game, and that is 84 in Golo Kante. Interesting. Right that, okay. And then we're gonna go in the central of midfield. Do you know what? I haven't tried them this year, and he gets a strong lead, so let's go for Nemanja Matic. 
Okay. Going at 84 again. We've got a perfect link to Shatov and Juba, so we don't actually need any more links to them. And then we'll go for another BPL central midfielder. I've been wanting to try... Oh, no. I can't. Oh, God, I'm doing this. What are we going to do now? Oh, no. Well, this has gone badly because it's, it's all well and good not having any links between Shatov and Juba. They're fine. But the person that goes in the centre made links to two of them. So we need strong links as well. I'm going to put Kante on the other side because he gets a strong link to Matic already. I'm going to go for Jordan Henderson. Why Jordan Henderson? Just English, isn't he? Loads of easy strong links. Yeah, okie dokie. Right, that's fine. Who did you put? Uh, Witzel, Danny, and See, I was going to try and do like a witzel thing, but then I thought, maybe not. Who would you like yourself, Reeve? Um... Well, I'm kind of winging it myself, uh, but I would like Santi Cazorla. Very nice. I would, I would also like... What sentiments do we have? <sighs> Fellaini. Scream? And, no, regular. Regular Afro dude. I think I'm safe with Ilkay Gundogan, so I'm going to pick him. Actually, actually, no, I'm going to go Jack Wilshere. I prefer Jack Wilshere. Jack Wilshere? Yeah. Jack Wilshere, Santi, and Fellaini. Yeah, you can have all three. Nice. Sir. Right, okay, so four at the back each. We both have full backs to complete, I believe. We do indeed. Right, Andros, mate. Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> Got me a little bit unawares there, having a drink of my cup of tea. I need a strong link to both of my midfielders. I got myself into a bit of a pickle with this squad, thinking, do you know what, I'm going to use Russians. And then I was like, hang on. Do I really want a whole team of Russians? And now I'm rushing to find some strong links. Hey, hey. so I'm gonna go. Oh, I see what you did there. I'm gonna go left back for this Masuaku guy because apparently he's sick and I haven't tried him yet. And also I yeah. don't want you to guess him and he's only 75 rated. And then right back, I need a strong link to Jordan Henderson. So this is my problem. So we got Nathaniel Klein, of course. We've got good old Glenn Johnson. We got Walker. Is there a sneaky Liverpool one that I'm just totally forgetting about? I don't want to search you're on the transfer market. I want to search concepts. There's not. There's Randall. Oh my god. He's definitely not going in my team. <laughs> We're going to have to go for someone English. An English Premier League fullback. Right back. By the name. Oh my god. It's literally Klein or Johnson. No, it's not Klein or Johnson. Why would anyone want Johnson? It's Klein or Walker. <gasps> You're going with Walker? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well played. Did you go Klein? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was close. That was very close. It was indeed. I should have right. went uh, Ross Barkley sent him in and I could have had Inform Coleman instead. But then you probably would have worked that down. That's true, actually. That's true. Who would you like? Um, I would like at left back. I mean, I have the whole Premier League to choose from. You do. But I've got, I've got a feeling you've written down Luke Shaw. So I'm going to go... Van Arnholm. Ooh, okay. And at right back, I'm almost certain that you've written down my boy Hector Bellerin. Bop it. So I, I am going to go Antonio Twist it. Valencia. Oh, and I thought you'd go for an old joke. Oh, no. no. He's, not he's not very good, though. He's not very Has good. Has he been nerfed? Yeah, he's only got 77 pace this year. Oh. I'm happy with that. It's kind of a cheapo team, which uh, you ought to just I like can help. Yeah, happily, happily get rid of it. File it under pesh. Okay, Andros. Hello. Final three positionies, mate. I'm going to let you go first again. You're going to let me go Whenever. first? Yeah, we have the honours. Okay. Who do you want? Let's make this team. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, that's really annoying. I wanted to make my team even more ridiculous. Sure. But I don't think I can. So I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was going to go at right centre back. I was going to go for... I, I'm, I'm a little bit lost here. Mate. Subatic. So this, this isn't going to work. I don't think I don't think there's a way to... I'm going to try and make it work, but I don't think I can. Yeah, that absolutely sucks. So I was going to go Subatic, in, new informed Socrates, and then just a Bundesliga goalkeeper in goal, just to make my team even more ridiculous and use the Serbian link from Matic. But yeah. good old Masuaku wouldn't be on full chem, would he? So we can't do that. Yeah, that is a problem. <sighs> my dreams have been dashed. So instead... Yes, DeMaio. Okay, now what do we... They both need a strong link. Is there a goalkeeper? That, there definitely isn't. What am I even trying to do? What's going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm trying to get a Serbian centre back in my team. <laughs> Just build a BPL squad, Andy. That's what you always do. Okay. Let's pretend that never happens and let's go for. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for Ashley Williams because he's absolutely sick on this game. He is very, very good. You're correct. Let's go for... Have you written him down? That is the question. I think you're going to have written down David Louise, which means I can say Eric Bailey. And then in goal, we'll go for... I want to say Bravo because he's a good safe option, but he's not good. He sucks. What was he doing in the game on my channel? Let's go for David De Gea. Oh, well, you played that wrong, mate. <clears throat> Fell at the final hurdle. Have you actually just guessed the hair? DDG on the board. Oh! No! Okay. Right. No! First, before, before Cut! I pick, redo! Redo! <laughs> before I have to pick your whoever's good, I actually have an infinite supply of people to pick for your keeper set, uh, spot as well. Oh my god. Right, but I'm going to go similarly with Eric Balag. Okay. Because I don't, I'm not entirely sure you put him down. I've also, I'm also going to go with Winston Reed. Oh, solid. And finally, in goal, I think you might have tried to double play me with Jack Butland. So I'm actually going to go with Begovic. Oh, how the tables have turned! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a goal fest. I also got Biley as well. You got two of them? Yeah. Wow, you chose Biley and wrote him down. I know, mind games, and I said Be Butland, and I wrote Begovic. This is- I can't believe you got Bailey. I only, I've only just added Bailey to my club. He's like the best defender on the game. Uh, I think you can give me- Should we have the same person? What, Harry Lewis? Oh, I'm, now I was gonna play my trump card. Oh, okay. Oh, fine. Well, I mean, I... I, I, I mean, I'll take Harry Lewis and give you Pedro No, if you no, want. I'm not giving you an actual key for this. That's the case. <laughs> uh, Should we both have Pedro? I've got a Pedro. So there we go. I've got a Pedro in goal. Brilliant. I mean, we've gone from one six Spanish goalkeeper to another six Spanish goalkeeper, so... Well, oh, you have. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, You've got to give me a defender as well, Paul. Oh, I do? Oh, what a lovely day. Limousine and that. Rice. What is it? Rice? I went for rice just so I could say limousine and that. Pizza. But limousine and rice. De Declan Rice, yeah. Even though he's not actually the worst, you can have him anyway. Hey, he gets a strong link with my boy Winston Reed. Let's go. Right, well, that's it, man. That's the that's the stuff complete. The squads are complete. Georgie Best is going to carry me to a resounding 1-0 victory. 1-0? It's going to be about 6 all. Oh, okay, God. right, let's get into it and rip it off like a plaster. That's how you're supposed to do it, isn't it? Apparently so. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be jokes. I reckon I can deal with that. <laughs> I reckon I can deal with that. Oh shit, you like that? You like that? How's that Nemanja Matic? How is Rice that just out against Matic? He's been eating his rice pudding. Reeves defense, 8 out of 10. Reeves defense with Rice, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Have you seen that meme? <laughs> no, what's that? A guy on Reddit was like, Give me some foods to try with rice, and I'll rate them for. And then he just—that was literally just to ask Reddit what food should I try with rice. And then people were just listing random stuff, and he was actually trying them and replying back with what he gave them out of ten. <laughs> yeah, so sort of be like, oh god, no, please don't score. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. I don't know how that. How the hell did that bounce back to him in the I've direction that we no just shot? Physics just isn't a thing, is it? <laughs> anyway, you're saying about back to my rice. rice. So people would be like, "Terry's chocolate orange," and he'd be like, "Terry's chocolate orange, six out of ten. Terry's chocolate orange with rice, eight out of ten. <laughs> and it's just like what? And people would just say random stuff, and they'd be like, "Beans," and he'd be like, "Beans." Eight out of I 10. agree with him, Nev. I agree. Beans with rice is better than just beans, beans. with rice. Eleven out of ten. But I, I, <laughs> he was just saying everything with rice was good. It was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> well, so now it's just a meme. So if someone will be like, "Oh yeah, my favorite television show is Game of Thrones," and yet people will be like, "Yeah, Game of Thrones is a ten out of ten. and then someone else will be, "Game of Thrones with rice is an eleven out of ten. Oh my god, there we go, Natic. We're still talking about <laughs> rice. This is how easy it is to score. <laughs> Step one: get the ball. Step two: shoot. Step three: celebrate. Every time. Oh my god, Pedro just actually <laughs> saved the shot from George Best. 
How many times have you hit the ball? Fucking hell, man. There's three in the first half. That was nice football. Oh, oh four. <laughs> four. Oh, well, there we go. There's a goal. <sighs> the full woodworks. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a melt! Oh, that's a great save, Jess. <laughs> looks like Billy, doesn't it? Rice has actually been your best defender. This is doing my head in. It happens with every squad of the showdown, man. You put a bronze in there, like the best player in the game. He's quite good, isn't he? You're the worst kind of person. Mate, how is that a bad thing to do? Got Pedro in goal and you just got a trump. <laughs> I try I tried to pass it to Sturridge. I mean it wasn't supposed to be that far across the goal, but that's a bigger kick than his other one! Come on, Pedro, come on, Pedro! Atta boy! Watch this. <laughs> I didn't even mean I wasn't planning on doing that, but he came me so fast I was like shit. <sighs> Fucking hell, George. That's the end of the game. <laughs> How did that only score one goal against Pedro? That's pretty unbelievable if I'm honest. It always happens. <laughs> and Rice, what would you give FIFA 17 out of 10 Reef? <laughs> what would you give FIFA 17 with Rice? Nine. <laughs> stupid. Right, time for my revenge, mate, as they say. I have two positions to discard, similarly to you. So, therefore... I think you're that guy, Andros. Are you that guy? What's that guy? Goalkeeper. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of that guy. I'm pretty sure he's worth about 20p. <laughs> Juba. Oh, he's the first owner in Wait, form. Oh, the inform. Oh, the inform. Okay, that, that's. I, but he that. quick sells that's for 10k, good. and I reckon he's probably worth about 10,100 coins because of how many packs have been opened. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe maybe 9.8. Probably is worth less than it. Maybe that's a trade method for people. Buy them and discard them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got one more. Then, in that case, I am going to go with your centre forward. Good old Billy Wingrove. <laughs> got rid of Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, wait, where was George Best? Left back, Jez. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Anyway. Okay, guys, that is the best squad builder showdown you will ever see because obviously that's what we do around here. We drop the puns, the super hot fire. 11 hours. And it's the life that I chose. If I had a mic, I'd drop it right now. But if you did enjoy the video, guys, remember to help smash the like button. Thank you for watching, as usual. Also, check out Andy's squad builder showdown on probably the best player, well, currently the best player in the game, Ronaldo. So go over, check it out, subscribe, watch it there. Thanks for watching, as usual, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Adios! Bye.